multiply, write the answer in lowest terms, x squared minus 10x plus 25 over 9 minus 6x plus x squared times x minus 3 over 5 minus x. First, let's factor the numerator and denominators for each of these quantities. Starting the numerator, that's a uh, perfect square trinomial. It is going to factor as x minus 5 quantity squared. The denominator as well is a perfect square trinomial. And it factors as 3 minus x quantity squared. Now looking at our second fraction, I'd sure like to see uh, these factors repeated. Notice that they are opposites. And so let's factor a negative sign out of each of these. In the numerator, factoring out a negative sign, or you might think of that as a negative 1, gives the negative of negative x plus 3. And in the denominator, factoring out a negative sign, or a negative 1, gives the negative of negative 5 plus x. I'm going to take one intermediate step here and rewrite this as x minus 5 quantity squared over 3 minus x quantity squared times, uh, just rearranging terms here, let's write that as the negative of a 3 minus x, and in the denominator that's the negative of x minus 5, just so that our eyes can see the common factors here. So now let's divide x minus 5 into x minus 5 squared. It's going to cancel that exponent, leaving an x minus 5 in the numerator. Let's also cancel a 3 minus x with one of those 3 minus x's over here in the denominator. It's going to leave 1 in the denominator. Note as well that a negative divided by a negative, that's going to become a positive. That's going to leave our product here as x minus 5 over 3 minus x in simplest form.